Most injuries to the posterior medial meniscus root, or PMMR, are chronic and typically caused by a movement that is seemingly benign when a patient is weight-bearing in a hyperflexed position. Increased posterior tibial slope is an identified risk factor for PMMR tears. A study recently published in the American Journal of Sports Medicine explored how changes in posterior tibial slope and knee flexion angle impact the forces on the PMMR. The researchers used 10 cadaveric knees for biomechanical testing. These knees were tested with different posterior tibial slopes and oriented at different flexion angles. The forces imparted on these knees included a compression load, internal torque, and external torque. Forces were measured using a novel multi-axial force sensor. The team discovered that the tension on the PMMR decreased as the posterior tibial slope increased from 5 degrees to 10 degrees, but increased at 15 degrees of posterior tibial slope. Additionally, under compression, medial shear forces on the PMMR increase significantly with knee flexion angle. This demonstrates how tibial slope and knee flexion can potentially affect the forces experienced by the PMMR, thus influencing injury risk. These findings offer valuable insights to clinicians on designing repair strategies for PMMR injuries and developing safer postoperative rehabilitation protocols. However, the study's findings should be interpreted with caution due to the use of cadaveric knees, the need for further research investigating flexion angles over 90 degrees, and the sequential rather than randomized order of testing. Overall, the results provide a deeper understanding of the biomechanics involved in PMMR injuries.